pubes and all that stuff. I mean, as it is, we've got Shalise Theron with um with a with a robotic arm. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue with that. But I'm going to think of things to do with that robotic arm that doesn't exactly involve killing. Go, yeah. let's go. Now, of course, we had to drive from the home base of in, in New Bremen, Ohio, all the way up to Lima, which is a good half hour, 40 minutes, because there's no theater any closer except uh, the tiny little one in town, which isn't running this show, is running Tomorrowland, which apparently is crap, and is running, and of course, the ne next nearest would be Salina, Ohio, and there's sh it's shit. It's shit. It's shit. It's supreme. So, yeah. What we've been reading about this movie is that it is bringing the, the excitement of cinema back uh, to the big screen. So, you know, we're looking forward to seeing a lot of action, a lot of explosions, a lot of car chases, and things to generally tune out about um, for a couple of hours. And from what we've seen, we're really not expecting to be too disappointed. So, yay, explosions! We're almost there, so I guess we'll just keep talking because I don't want to turn the camera off. So maybe we'll do outtakes. Maybe I won't. <sighs> All right, come on, punch that shit. Punch okay. it. Okay. Okay. So we've just finished watching Mad Max, Max Fury Road or Fury Road. I still can't figure uh, it out. Let's go with Fury because holy <laughs> sex on a shit whistle. That was violent, and that, I liked it. Yeah, that <laughs> that was action porn for us guys. And you yeah. guys are like faces yeah. being ripped off, bodies being shredded, explosions, death. Dogs and cats living together. Mass, mass hysteria. hysteria. <laughs> and, uh, and near boobs. Near boobs. We did have some nips, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was a naked chick on top of the, um, the power thing, but that was awesome. Yeah, that, that was kind of awesome. A side note, we are not going to spoiler, do any major spoilers, but there may be some minor spoilers, so that's a caution, but we're not going to go blow the plot completely out of the water and say, well, this is what happened in the movie. Yeah, I mean... Basically, I wasn't sure what to expect. I, we'd just seen, as we mentioned before, we'd seen a, a lot of reviews, and they were all good, all positive. And the was, guy with the flamethrower guitar, yeah, playing it all through the damn chase till he got blown. Up. I think that there is a, I think that there is a Guinness World Record in there somewhere for the world's longest guitar riff. Oh, what, 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 what are we talking like? Practically two hours? No, the entire movie. No, the movie takes longer time. So I'm sure he played four hours and hours as they're driving. Yeah. And the drums are pounded behind. Yeah, I, I mean, completely non sequitur, um, but it was just cool. I, I I don't even know what to say more about it other than I just, I, I kept thinking to myself, every time I think to myself, this doesn't belong here, I mean, part of my brain is to shut up, just enjoy it. The big thing is that, well, I, well, I, except for a few shots, I couldn't tell where they did, where the practical began ended and the digital began. I That's mean, obviously, fantastic. one shot at the end when they're blowing everything up, uh, there was no way that couldn't be digital, so that was still, it was, yeah, we saw so much destruction porn by this point that the, I know the digital shot didn't completely take me out of it. It's not like, ugh. Yeah, I, I, was I, wasn't distracted, I wasn't distracted by anything in the movie. I, I was riveted on screen the whole time yeah. but man just how damn some, how some of the first stuff was framed when they have those quiet moments not a not a shit ton of dialogue just you get these moments where everything's quiet and everybody's sitting there and you get these nice big framed shots taking advantage of the scenery and letting a character just tell the story by sitting there and looking forlorn because everything's a downer in that movie much. Now, one thing, you'd said, one thing you'd said to me before we went to see the movie, I, I thought, you know, it's a Mad Max movie, so it's going to be very heavy, heavy story on Max himself, but it no. wasn't. You were like, no, 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 from what you read, it, it was more about um, Charlize Theron's character, uh, Furiosa. Furiosa is I definitely thought, the most important character in the movie. Absolutely. Now, Max I mean, is just... He's there along the ride. Eventually, for the show eventually becomes her bitch, more or less. Yeah, but the, the whole thing about it is one thing that has been prevalent in all of the Mad Max movies, you know, from the Road Warrior all the way up to um, Thunderdome and Fury Road, was that Mad Max is a story about redemption, and I will tell you this movie does not disappoint. One of the big things was a lot of people noted that the main character was primarily female, and, the, and started calling this a 
is what, if I were to define what feminism really should be, this is it. There is no distinction between the men and the women in this movie. Obviously, some of the girls are the uh, breeders. This won't be too much of a spoiler. Basically, scaly clad, they're not tough. They were kept nice to be breed to breed children. Right, but the, I mean, what I mean, was really good you is see that them you see the Yeah, you but, yeah you see you see that um, men were men and women were men. <laughs> well, a woman was a man, nearly. Um, but men were men, women were women, and you didn't have to sit there and think, oh, this is so misogynistic, or oh, this is so feminist. It was just a fantastic movie. Characters doing what they need to do, mostly trying not to be dead as a bunch of people are trying to kill them. That's pretty much it. Well, I and think that's... Uh, I think of course, that's it's a two-hour chase movie. It's a two -hour movie that has a two-hour chase in it. Well, literally, it starts with a chase and about... It starts with a little chase, then goes to a longer chase, which ends with the end of the movie. Really, they're being chased for the entire movie. Yeah. And, like, I've seen other movies where you're being chased for the whole movie. <laughs> War of the Worlds. And I hated it. I absolutely hated it because I just couldn't stand the non-stop running and running and running. <laughs> But they don't run different. away the whole time. Let's no, put it that that's way. the that's the one thing is they they they're still running even when they run back. But I'm all all over. I mean, if I had to give it a rating out of five stars, I would definitely give it four and a half stars. I um, think we could crank this to a fiver because it's visually, storytelling wise, it's the kind of movie you want. The kind of movie you like. That's gonna do it with our review. Our post uh, Mad Max Fury review. I'm Lars. I'm Patrick. And hopefully in two 